A new study finds after having COVID, even a mild case of COVID, you kind of didn't even feel sick. Well, you are at risk of heart failure, and that goes up 72%, along with some other major major issues with your health. It's pretty startling numbers, too. Yeah. Your likelihood of a heart attack increases significantly, too. Cardiovascular surgeon Dr. Mark Gillenoff joining us now for the Cleveland Clinic. Tell us more about the latest research findings. And, boy, uh, I mean, we knew that COVID would have long-term effects, but this is just across all races, gender, ages. It's a really interesting study. And it's believable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They looked at 150,000 people in the VA medical system wow. who had COVID. Yeah. And then they asked the question, what happened over the next year to your heart? So these are people who had COVID. Most of them recovered, apparently looked good, yeah. felt good, no longer in the hospital. And over the next year, even though they looked recovered, they were 50 to 75% more likely to have every kind of bad heart thing you can imagine heart attack, stroke, heart failure, abnormal rhythms. These people who had COVID had more of those over the next year, a lot more mm -hmm. than people who did not have COVID. That's scary, and it's, and it's high scary. numbers too. Heart failure risk goes up 72%. So this isn't small numbers. Also mm -hmm. risk of stroke goes up 52%. Heart attack, 63%. So what can you do, say you've had COVID over this last 2020, 2021, even now, what can you do then? You almost feel like, am I a ticking time bomb? What can we do now? Is there anything we can do to prevent it other than the stuff we talk about yeah. that we must do? Yeah, first up though is all the usual stuff with the vaccine, still the most effective means to prevent yourself from getting into this group in the first place. Mm -hmm. But let's say despite your best efforts, Yes, you had COVID sometime in the last year. What to do now? All the usual things to optimize heart health, you know, exercise, eat well, make sure that you are seeing a doctor. It is and always has been safe to still go see your doctor. Right. And it's unsafe not to stay on top of it. What's your blood pressure? What's your heart rate? What's your weight? What is cholesterol. your cholesterol? <clears throat> know all these things because those things are still important and then if you've had COVID and you've done all of that stuff, you've seen your doctor and you're starting to feel a little short of breath or you get some chest pain, definitely don't ignore it. Right. Dizziness well, is another thing too. Yeah, dizziness can be a sign of an abnormal heart rhythm. So that's a really good point. So you've got to be vigilant. Then if you've had COVID, be even more vigilant. Mm -hmm. what, what is the virus doing to the heart though that makes it so susceptible to these things? That's an easy one to answer. We don't know. Okay. Um, but we've got some hypotheses. But inflammation yeah. is one, yeah. the myocarditis. Yeah. It can cause inflammation of blood vessels. Mm -hmm. It can cause blood clots. And does it cause permanent structural changes in your heart? Don't know. You're right. In the acute phase, you can get what's called myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle. How long does that persist? We're not entirely sure. And that, I understand, could be deadly. If you have that and you're exercising and working out, that that could be deadly. How do you know you have myocarditis or that your heart is inflamed? The primary symptom would be shortness of breath and fatigue. So if you are used to, let's say, running three miles a day and you feel otherwise fine, but you can't walk a mile, you just get short of breath, see a doctor, cardiologist preferably, to see what's going on. I mean, the, the fact is myocarditis of that sort is still pretty rare. Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about is over the next year, people who, they seem to have recovered. They feel yeah, fine. that's bizarre. But they're getting heart failure, heart attacks, strokes, abnormal heart rhythms. Have you seen, because you're a heart surgeon, have you seen the heart looking different to you in any of your surgeries that the makeup of the heart is looking different at all? The heart looks from the outside the same, but the lungs do not. Really? The COVID changes to the lungs that occur with bad COVID, mm -hmm. people who are hospitalized, those persist for quite some time. And the, the lungs actually look in the operating room physically different. No kidding. Like in what way? They are sort of, uh, this is not a medical term, yeah. mushy okay. wow. and fluid filled. Wow. And on the scans, the CT scans, they look particularly different. I mean, you can look at a CT scan and say, that's a COVID lung. No kidding. So then does that push you into higher chances of having lung cancer? We don't know about lung cancer, but certainly lung problems with heart surgery and with other illnesses. I mean, all of this is so different from the flu. People mm -hmm. got the flu. 
They recovered in general, nothing happened. And we are just learning about the different ways that this can linger. I think the take home has to be, and hopefully having you here on our show, we know you're on New Day uh, next hour, is that so many of us, we get sick and then we get better. And if we're still having these symptoms, generally we push ourselves and say, oh, I just can't do it, but I'm gonna push myself. I'm going to the gym, I'm gonna push myself. We keep hearing that. Probably not a good idea to keep pushing yourself. You need to question yourself and get yourself to the doctor just to make sure you're okay. I agree, and if I had had COVID in the last year, I would just make sure I see my doctor this year just for a checkup, mm -hmm. just to make sure, because these risks, you're right, those are alarming yeah. numbers. We're going to answer a lot of these questions and more coming up, as Steph mentioned, today in New Day. Dr. Mark and his amazing team of Cleveland Clinic experts will join New Day Cleveland. It's the Love Your Heart special. It's taking place at 10 a.m., just about 13 minutes from now. Yeah, life-saving information truly on how this pandemic is affecting cardiac care and also inspiring patient stories. And, of course, a little bit of fun, as they always do on New Day Cleveland. Uh, it's the New Day Cleveland Love Your Heart special. Again, it is next. And, again, we hope that we can just provide this service to you, that our take-home is get it checked out. Mm -hmm. Don't push yourself because you just don't want to push yourself into having a heart attack or something or worse. So just get it checked out. Make sure you're okay. Matter your age, because we're seeing people that are very young with these very serious conditions that you may see in people that are 70 and 80. It's across all age group, races, genders. It's just COVID. Dr. All Mark, right. we'll let you get over to the New Day studio. Thanks uh, for joining us. A little preview of what you can see coming up in just a little bit.